This is it. This is what life is now. We push boats, we pull boats, we hit rocks, we're stuck on trees, and we catch tiny little bass. Daggone. Oh, nice one. Gosh, dang. Oh. Oh my gosh. What you thinking? I'm thinking that we're gonna drop this super nice Camus and get in the Illumicraft right there. Because I had multiple people say, go film a video on Lake Eufaula. And I've been fishing Lake Eufaula for the past two days in a BFL Super Tournament. And we didn't film it. And almost nobody said they liked the creek video. But that's what we're going to do again today because I like it a whole lot. It's really fun to me to get back in those places. Probably going to get stuck. So I probably, that's why I put on shorts and flip flops because it's a little bit too cold to be wearing that. But we probably got to get in the daggum water. But that's fine. And hopefully we'll find us some big spots. Maybe some shoal bass. Maybe some spot shoal hybrids. Whatever's up in there. Maybe we'll catch some of them. So going back in the creek that I've never went that far in today. Don't even know how far we can make it, but we'll go try and see what we can do. He came in third in the BFL. That's pretty good. Yeah, came in third in the Super Tournament. That was pretty good. Didn't catch him that good, but it's tough down there right now. You know, it's hard to get a bike down there, hard to catch a three-pounder. So, that's what it is. So, let's hook this sucker up and go fishing. A little bit in, a little bit in both. One of them will take more than the other. 304, it's coming down, it's not bad. Everybody says this is my gas saver boat, and it is, but I just like fishing out of it like a lot. You know, like I got that super nice boat, I love fishing tournaments out of that came, but I really like fishing out of this boat. I don't really know why, I just did. I'm only gonna put about a mm, gallon and a half in there, probably. All right, we are at the El Boat Rampe. So, hopefully, the water's a little bit low. It's gonna make it a little bit tough, but I like it like that. Like, that's when they actually bite a little bit better when that water's low. They just got less places to hide. So, gotta get the boat a little bit ready and then put in. Water looks fairly clean. Hopefully it'll be clean where we're going. You never know. Could be bad, could be good. We'll find out shortly. Everybody knows where I'm at. This boat ramp is the tournament boat ramp on this small little local lake, you know? Look at it. Look at the boat. I'm just blowing with the wind. Put it in reverse. Look at how beautiful. And my wife's driving it. Not very good, but I'm just going to go in circles probably. Probably so. Back it straight up. Just like that's fine. Trim it down some. You gonna drive? Yeah. All right, we better hold on. All right, this boat's got a hair trigger throttle on it, and she's driving it. She usually struggles with this thing a little bit. She gives it a little too much gas, so if I fly out of the boat, you'll know whose fault it is. It's gonna be your fault, but I'll hold on. Oh, see? <laughs> see that? <laughs> Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on. This is no way. That's why I'm trying to say the buoys are over there. I wasn't trying to wake. Is that a wake? I don't see no white cat. That ain't no wake. Water's a little low. Boat's a little narrow. Because I don't have a graph. You don't have a graph. You usually read a graph. Yeah. You pretty good at reading a graph. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 
I know there's a sandbar over there. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's a sandbar over there because I can see a tree out of there. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, about Philly. Look at it again. I can't reach the here Look at that. I mean, look at this. It's red. Terrible. Ruined. Yeah, I thought the donkeys might have did it. You didn't think they did it? They probably did. I mean, it is a terrible color. Like, oh, I don't really understand. What could have possibly made like this? There he is. What are either turned over or, I mean, we didn't have, has it rained at all? Did it rain? I mean, you don't even get this color when it rains. I don't know, it's weird. Uh-oh. Did we hit something? Yeah, we, uh... I'll say we, we, we nicked, we nicked the sandbar. I ain't gonna say we hit it. But we nicked it. So, this is whenever you turn off your Mercury and drop your motor guide because uh, that one's more expensive than that one. Why is it freaking red, bro? Dude, like, this is so weird. Oh, I bet I fell in the bag. I wonder what happened there. It's flowing up here. Like, it's... It's coming from up somewhere. You know what I know? It's 100% What? It's coming from somewhere. Like, I was thinking it might be like it turned over and we could get above it. But we can't get above it. Heads up. Whenever you hear that, uh, when you hear that screeching going down the side of the boat, it's really just, uh, knocking a little bit of the dirt off. That's really what it does. It can't hurt the boat. It just actually cleans it up a little. A little bit of that little mud line just gets scraped away, which is good. That's a, it's a it's a net positive whenever it does that. Net positive. Probably gonna have a terrible mud line because this damn mud, whatever this is. Uh oh, we're on a sandbar. I wonder if every fish just left. Because if every fish left. Right up there past this would probably be really good. No, like right where it turned from red to, you know, regular color. I don't think every fish left. I don't think every fish would be smart enough to leave. Well, there's a duck, but it looks like he might be injured. He can't even fly. He might he might have tried to leave and couldn't. Or maybe he could fly and this toxic water doesn't matter where he can't fly. Maybe the toxic water is killing our duck. Is that the title? Toxic water kills duck. There we go. Toxic water kills this duck. It's like, you know. Sounds like some kind of Alex Jones. Sounds like something Alex Jones would talk about. Toxic water is killing our ducks. I don't know. They won't know about the toxic water.
You see him over there swimming? If there's something under the water like four inches deep, I'm not going to be able to see it. Gosh, dude, this is, there's another one. Look, he can't fly either. Well, he's got, he almost got it. Oh, he almost got it. He can't fly either. Toxic water's killing two ducks. We leaving. Confidence is low, super low in here. This looks like junk. This is not good. I'll be back whenever the water is not toxic waste. I don't know why I went so far. I really kind of thought we was going to be able to get above it or something. I thought maybe there'd be one creek dumping in, but I mean, it's just weird. I've been in this creek before, not this far, but it don't normally look like this. This is really kind of weird. It looks like, you know how all the chocolate falls to the bottom and the top of you who starts to look this color? That's what it looks like. Exactly what you're talking about. All the chocolate is at the bottom and it's like a, mm, what do you want to drink that for, you know? A well, Yoohoo is phenomenal. After I had COVID, you was like, I don't think I've had a Yoohoo since COVID, but it is a. Uh, I don't want to, if, if it's bad, I don't even want to remember it that way. It's like I have a memory of Yoohoo that I want to preserve, you know? It really ain't. I don't ever want to drink a bad Yoohoo because that's just too near and dear to my heart, even though I haven't had one in five years. Also All right, I'm feeling generous. Normally I try to keep these little creeks and stuff. Uh, little bit of a secret i don't try to just like completely blow them up but this creek in particular i'll give a waypoint to one lucky subscriber if you want to come fish in this creek so if you want that maybe we'll have a giveaway or something one lucky person will win the waypoint to the toxic creek if you you might not catch a fish but i bet you could catch one of them ducks that can't fly no more so if anybody wants the waypoint we'll have a contest see who wins you know that's what this is what you'll get You'll be, you'll be very lucky. You'll be in a small, select group of people that gets to fish in here, so. The comment below is toxic duck. Yeah, comment toxic, co comment toxic duck if you want the waypoint. I'll send it right to you. Well, the water is not red. The water is pretty. That was a long ride for some clear water. It wasn't that long to get to the clear water. It was 20 that degrees, is it? Uh, I'm gonna say 71. Right there. Kyle just hit something. Hard. Not just something. A rock. A rock. I got like a little bit off the trail. Just a little bit though, like the trail is right there. I was just right there. That's a shoal bass. <laughs> Look at that little sucker. Hey, little baby shoal right there. Come bring it closer. Glad to see. Really see. I always love to see babies. That means the population is doing good. Healthy little pretty sucker. Beautiful. I, I'm, I am partial to them. I am. That just started going so much harder. What do you, that, that thing? That waterfall. Maybe they just started generating. You didn't hear that waterfall? They're down today. That's a keeper. If we're allowed to keep them, which sometimes we are, sometimes we ain't. We just locked through to the uh, Clearwater, Florida spring. Not a little showy. That's a He's mixed with spot. He's a little hybrid. 
He's got some spot. He's got some show. He's got my heart. Got him at first. Now that's a pure spot. I believe he's pure spot. Hard to tell if he's got a little bit of it mixed in him, but looks like a pure spot. Beautiful little fish. I like spots. I like shoal bass better. I like largemouth better than spots. You get the mud off your feet before you get in your pristine boat. I mean, this is an Alumacraft Bandit. You don't want muddy feet in your Bandit now. Oh, hey. What do we have here? Spotted bass. I gotta give you all full disclosure. That is the first bass I've ever caught in this creek. Hmm. Noise. I have been in here another time. Not as far as I'm planning on going today. If I can get there today. Oh, nice one. Gosh, dang. Man, that was a decent little spot. I mean, he wasn't big. He was like a little bit bigger than that last one. Oh, there we go. Smoked it. Look at that little sucker. A little butterball. I mean, look, look, you can see he's got crawfish tentacles hanging out of his throat. Little antennas hanging out of his throat? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little crawfish antennas. That's cool. Hanging out. God, I almost smoked it. There's a little spot there. Catching bass and hitting bottom. I think some of those are keepers. I think some of those are 12 inches. as far as that's gonna take us. <clears throat> it about take us further. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Kyle won't get many pets, so we're taking our boat for a walk. Should we just take the poles? I don't think we're gonna get past right there. That looks like legit. A sand bottom like it looks like there's a thing all the way across so before I take the boat there's my my anchor Me too, I was too. My shorts are a little lower than yours though. <laughs> Hunter's panic. Hunter. <laughs> I was, I'm not now. Was, was, go right up there. Now that one's got to be a little bit of a shoaly. I guess he ain't gotta be. 
I think he is though. I think he's got, a, no, I don't know. Maybe a little bit, not a lot. Look at that, Hunter was, Hunter was panicking. The fish was panicking, cause I was catching him. Everybody was panicking but me. Look, he looks kind of big in the water. Everybody was panicking but me. I just had a big one boil on this thing, the cast before that. I'm lying, I can't say sure it was a big one. Oh! Oh my gosh! That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Ever? That was so cool. Little creek spot. That's awesome. He got some sharp teeth. See him right there? Did he touch you? Yeah. He got real close if he didn't. That's fun. God, that's so much fun. Hunter got to see that one bite. These fish don't get fish for at all. It's hard up there, ain't it? That's like a really good spot right there. Tail walking, ain't he? No. Oh, I thought that was a good one. <laughs> so the other creek I went in had a little bit bigger ones. But this one's definitely got more. Oh my, yeah, not his. I mean, anywhere it's just a little bit deeper. There's one. Look at that thing. <laughs> I think I'll keep him right here in my pocket. He, he touched both my feet and went over. Look at him. Back to the deep hole. Oh, there's a nope little one. He just was mean. That's awesome. All right, so we have went until for the foreseeable future anyways, nothing but a straight sandbar, but that was fun. Kind of did what we wanted to do. You know, I really wanted to take the boat further and we kind of ran out of real estate as far as what the boat could float in. Got just so shallow that I would have to just pull the boat. Just, I probably couldn't have got it there by myself, but it was fun nonetheless. Really, really like it. Love doing this type of stuff. It's just, I like catching bass big time. And this is fun, really fun. So appreciate y'all watching. We're gonna fish a little bit going back to the boat, but we're just gonna turn around, ease back to the house now. Really kind of disappointed I didn't catch a shoal bass. I've heard there's some really big shoal bass way up. Didn't catch one today. So a little bit disappointed as far as that goes, but that's okay. Still caught a bunch of spots and had fun. We, done, we ain't done catching though.
Fumbled him. That sucker's a mean fish catching machine right there. I might have caught more out of it though. <laughs> okay, that's a mean fish catching machine. I mean it. All right, we are back at the ramp. The day is complete. We caught a bunch, and I wanna say the biggest one I caught was probably less than a pound and a quarter, maybe a pound and a quarter, but I caught a bunch of fish. But we were not fishing around big ones. We were fishing where little ones live for the most part, I, I guess, that's what it looks like anyways. But if y'all like the creek fishing, leave me a like and leave me a comment, let me know. And if y'all want the waypoint for the toxic duck killing water, put down toxic duck water down below but i appreciate it only 65 percent of y'all are subscribed so hit that subscribe button help the channel get on up there i appreciate it guys about to put the old lumicraft bandit on the trailer before it hurts more feelings out here and go get something to eat so appreciate y'all watching we'll see y'all